Moving on to number six, we have a public hearing for consideration of the 1920 Community Development Block Grant Annual Action Plan presented by Darren Gale. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And before Brandon leaves, I would like to publicly thank him. He's helped us on a couple of commercial projects. I hear recently, uh, specifically uh, the Carriage Square project, which there was an issue with connection and across the street uh, with uh, at the Riley Shopping Center. He was help, uh, helped us kind of, uh, as a contractor contacted the city, we were able to put them in connection with Brandon, and Brandon uh, specifically helped them out those projects. So thank you. Thank you. So Mayor and uh, City Council members, it's a pleasure to be before you this evening to talk about uh, the city's community development uh, block grant. Um, and I really appreciate the City uh, Council's participation this year as um, projects and priorities have been identified. Uh, this is a presentation that I've given a couple times now, but since it's a uh, public hearing, and I know we have new people in the audience, I'll briefly go through it. I sh uh, uh, the City of Yuba City is an entitlement jurisdiction with uh, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, the, t the intent of the program and the funds are supposed to help provide decent housing, a suitable living, economic environment, and to expand economic development opportunities in low-income and moderate-income uh, communities. On an annual basis, uh, the City Council uh, is required to adopt uh, an annual action plan, which is uh, before you this evening. Additionally, every five years, a, uh, an updated consolidated plan needs to be prepared. And this coming year, we'll be going through that process and having uh, public meetings. And then in September, a caper is adopted, uh, which highlights the city's success and audit of, of the, the project and to ensure that everything meets uh, the five-year consolidated uh, plan. Uh, the process this year, uh, which is similar to what we've done in past years, a notice is sent to both past and what we hope to might be a possible future sub-recipients. Um, not that many years ago, we had many, many sub-recipients and, and even small grant, grant, uh, grantee awards. And uh, HUD asked us to, to try to, uh, you know, put those together. And uh, you see with the Sutter uh, Yuba um, Homeless Consortium that they're receiving a significant portion of funds where in the past we would give those monies directly to every single uh, uh, local nonprofit that's, uh, that they're working with. Uh, we held a public workshop in February. Applications were due in March. And uh, those applications were reviewed uh, by staff. And then the city council has had a couple opportunities to add some, some additional um, um, uh, input. And then we've had a 30-day 30 30 public notice as required by law in the Appeal Democrat. And uh, um, th that is where we are today. So the city it will be receiving uh, just under $650,000 for the 1920 CDBG fiscal year. Uh, those funds, 20% of the funds can be allocated for administration. 15% uh, uh, of the funds can be allocated for public services, and the remaining 65% can go for uh, projects. So as it relates to administration, those funding uh, goes to the city that pays for the analyst who works on that project. Also, any time that uh, a city staff uh, puts into this, uh, these are the funds uh, that are set aside for that. Uh, public service. Uh, this year, uh, the 97500 is uh, all going to go towards the Sutter uh, Yuba Homeless uh, Consortium. Uh, the one um, item is here is 50% of this is being set aside for uh, the Sutter County uh, shelter that they're uh, looking to uh, uh, build on Live Oak Boulevard, and this is for operations. And then the projects, uh, there's 15000 for a freed for home, uh, home repair. Uh, there is a city program which we uh, contract through the Regional Housing Authority for owner-occupied rehabilitation. And then um, $60,000 for the Housing Authority for the Kingwood Commons Roofing Project. And then finally, for public facilities, uh, there's funding for uh, the City of Yuba City ADA uh, sidewalks and then for uh, Sam Brandon Park playground equipment. Um, at this time, we'd ask that the City Council uh, holds, uh, uh, conduct a public hearing. And if there are no questions, uh, then we would ask uh, that a resolution be adopted approving the 1920 annual action plan. And I can answer any questions that uh, the City Council might have. We're going to do the public hearing first and we'll do that real quick. All right, so the public hearing for consideration of the 2019-2020 Community Development Block Grant Annual Action Plan is now open. If there are any members of the public who would like to address the Council on this issue, please step up to the podium and state your name and address for the record. Hearing no further comment on the issue, I'm closed in public hearing and bringing the matter back to council for questions and action. Through the mayor. Uh, Mr. Gale, who's going to administer this program now? 
So administer the CDBG program? Yes, for the city. Which staff member? Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, Jaspreet Carr is the analyst within the department, and then as the, the director, the interim director currently, I'm, uh, uh, she reports directly to me, and so I'm the one who oversees that. Um, all of the no notifications that come to the city are both sent, are sent actually to the mayor, addressed to the mayor and to the city manager, and then they hand those uh, documents over to us, any official documentation. Perfect, thank you. Okay, uh, through the mayor. Yep. I'd like to make a motion to consider the 2019-2020 Community Development Block Grant Annual Action Plan Recommendations A and B. All right, I have a motion to approve. We have a second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? None. Thank you very much.